I'm going to show you how to extend the vendor business partner into another company code in SAP s 4 My name is Zun Dias, and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, you can find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. I am building a document that will become a PDF how to navigate in the SAP at a glance YouTube channel. If you want to receive the PDF once it's ready, if you want to receive the PDF once it's ready, please connect to my LinkedIn, send me a message, I want the PDF, your email, and I'll send it to you once it's done. As is known in the SAP S4 system, the transaction code FK01 is, is committed. Therefore, now we have the transaction code BP or the Fiori apps to create uh, business partners. I'm going to show you how to extend a business partner to another company called. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP GUI menu. So pretty simple. We still see here the transaction code FK01. And then when we used to do in the past double click, we used to have this create a vendor as reference. So basically we were creating a vendor from a copy from another company code and we were extending this vendor for that company code. But now this doesn't exist anymore. If I go there, I'm going, I'm get pulled to the transaction, transaction code BP, business partner. And then I'm going to enter in the transaction code BP. And then we want to extend a business partner into another company code. So I have search the business partner here. So we have this, this business partner open. So in the transa in the in the table of business partners, there is not much information there because once this part this business partner is created as a vendor, then we go into the table LF A1. So here is the main is the general data of my business partner. Then then we have the other, the other table that is LFB1, which is showing me for which company codes this business partner is open. Okay, if you see, it is the same number, it's, in, it's synchronized with business partner, my vendor. So basically, I can go to the this, this Fiori app, maintain business partner, which is the same thing as the uh, BP transaction codes. So when we are here, we open the business partner. I took the notes, or I'm not sure. I'm going to copy paste and I'm put it there, my business partner. Now, if you see there is not company code yet, I can see just the general overview of my business partner because we need to bear in mind that we have the display, display in BP rule. So what we are using is supplier financial accounting. Once I change in here, I have the company code there. So here I have the general data. If, if you remember, we created here for the two addresses. If we go down, we have further addresses. We have other videos where we have explained everything. Now we click on company codes. And then here we go to click on company codes. In here, we have this, but I want to create a new company code. So I need to switch between display and change. So everything is open, then I can go and create company codes. So here I can go and I can create. I need to put my company code, D99. This is a vendor. I'm going to press adopt. And then I'm going to save. Sorry, I need to put the reconciliation account, which is a mandatory field. We are going to choose domestic payments. And then save. So here is the company code data where I have vendor payment transactions. So this is defined by company code how we want to use this. We have seen this already in other videos, so I'm not going to explain this. So now if we go back to the SAP GUI, and then we go back to the table uh, LFB1, and we make a refresh, we can see that the vendor was already extended for this uh, company code. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us. 
Now you know how to extend a vendor business partner into other company code in SAP as for an assistant. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.